wear glasses is such an integral part of your aesthetic, your overall style. But not just that, it affects how you see the world as well. And that's why choosing glasses is one of the most important purchasing decisions you'll ever make. People tell me all the time how they hate shopping for new glasses. Not only do they find it really difficult to know what suits them and what works for them, but also they just don't find the people involved in that process very engaging or helpful. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my thought process when I chose my new eyewear, three pairs, and a little bit about the service we offer in terms of helping you find your perfect pair of glasses. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant. Not at the Spectacle Factory today, I'm at home and I've brought you to my home with me. And it's my job to help you find your perfect pair of glasses. And I wanted to make this one a little bit more informal for you to kind of get to know me a little bit and just tell you a little bit about the thought process I go through when I'm choosing my own pair of glasses to maybe give you a little bit of inspiration. So it was that time again, the time that we all come to, where the optician tests our eyes and tells us that we need a prescription change. In my case, I've gone a little bit more short-sighted. Luckily, because I get my eyes changed regularly, the old prescription is not necessarily way off. It's not going to do any harm to my eyes to still wear that. So that means I still get to enjoy the rest of my eyewear collection. But rather than see it as a negative, I saw it as a positive for two reasons. Number one, it's an opportunity to see the world better. I'm all for that. Number two, it's an opportunity to upgrade and update my style and add to my eyewear wardrobe. Worrying about it, regretting it, is not going to change the fact that you need to update your prescription. Make the most of it. Come into it with enthusiasm and see it as what it is, which is an opportunity to upgrade every aspect of what your glasses do for you. Not just how they look, but also how you see. So that leads me on to these new glasses. And I've got three styles actually to show you today. Well, technically two, but three new pairs of glasses. Not only this JF Ray, beautiful carbon wood frame, but also these Modo VS1 glasses, which I absolutely adore. So yeah, let's talk about why I chose these three pairs of glasses. I always say that the minimum you need to kind of cover all eventualities is three pairs of glasses. One pair to wear indoors, which is going to be these ones. One pair to wear outdoors, i.e. sunglasses, which is these. And another pair that gives you something a bit different, so that number one, you're not wearing the same pair all the time, which can get a little bit tired. And number two, to give you a little bit more versatility in what you wear, how you style yourself, and... It's ice cream time. So let's talk about each of these three pairs in turn. Starting with these. These are the Isola, which is a place in Milan. And each pair within this collection takes its name and inspiration from a place within Milan because they were designed by a Milanese designer, Valerio Samella, who partnered with Modo, who produced beautiful titanium frames, to design the Modo VS1 collection. They're very minimalistic, very easy everyday look. Now, I did a bit of customization, uh, and I may as well cross that bridge now and tell you all about it because originally the color of these was almost reversed. These had the black rim that you see on these frames. And this pair had the yellow rim that you see on here, but I just felt like, the, although I love the yellow, it was maybe a bit much for every day. So these are a bit more sleek and a bit more understated. And I've gone for the yellow, the bright yellow on the sunglasses. And I also think that it adds accentuation to the end tips because I've kept the original yellow end tips on these. And I've gone for the black on these, which means that everything throughout the frame is black with that yellow pop around the lens rim. That's what Valerio was really going for with this collection. He wanted the contrast between the lens rim on the frame and you can see that we've got the silver contrasting against the black i think that's a lovely effect personally so they've got that little bit of an edge but they're still quite minimalistic and quite understated at the same time that reflects my personality one of the first questions you need to ask when you're shopping for new glasses is what kind of personality what kind of character do i want to portray with my glasses stop thinking about face shape Honestly, there is no single shape that is going to suit your face more than other shapes. Yes, there will be some shapes that don't quite work for you, mainly depending on the size of the glasses themselves, but it's much more about the character of the frames. So don't get too hung up on face shape. That's 
uh, a bit of advice that I always give to people. Now, to finish these frames off, I've gone with 1.67, which means ultra thin, and that was really important because of the thinness that you can see on the frames. I didn't want the lenses to protrude beyond that and detract from that aesthetic. They have smart life technology, which is my absolute favorite. It means that you get easy and fast switching when you're changing focus from different distances with a digital design, which means that there is actually an extra boost of focus at the bottom of these lenses. The advantage of that is that when I check my smartphone, I get a little bit more magnification, which reduces strain on my eyes throughout the day. Finally, we have the gray 25% graduated tint, which is very subtle, but stands out more against my skin tone, as you can see. And Duravision Platinum Coating, which means they're free from reflections, but are also really durable against scratches. Why did I go for the tint on these? Well, first of all, you should always consider a tint on your glasses. There's no exceptions nowadays. With the advent of LED lighting and the ubiquity of that throughout the world nowadays, you're always going to be exposed to kind of harsh indoor lighting conditions. And a slight tint like this really reduces the intensity of that, makes your eyes more comfortable, but it also adds a really cool aesthetic and it adds that level of customization which makes your glasses your own. So I'm a huge believer in tints. I wouldn't get a pair of glasses nowadays without some kind of tint. Speaking of tints, we've got the second pair here, which are obviously much more tinted. These are obviously designed to be sunglasses and you can see that the tint is far more prominent. However, these are adaptive sun technology and that means that actually inside, the lens is relatively clear. I can see you just fine and you looking through that lens will see me just fine. So I could actually wear these indoors, although obviously I'm going to look like I've got tinted glasses on. Having adaptive sun means that when I'm outdoors in really bright sunlight, these are going to go significantly darker than they are now, up to a 97% tint. So I've got the darkest pair of sunglasses I could possibly get that fade back to this light, comfortable, graduated tint when I'm indoors or when it's a cloudy day. So as a real general use pair of sunglasses, you can wear these all year round. And I just love that pop of color from the yellow. As you can see, I love yellow, it's my favourite colour, and I love yellow accents on things, it's just a cool design element that really appeals to me. That would be another really important tip that I would give you when you're shopping for glasses. Find an element that feels personal to you. It could be anything, it could be the coloration, it could be the overall aesthetic, like the minimalism that I talked about. For example, I'm a huge fan of Jakob Jensen, Danish designer, he designs very Scandinavian everyday objects and I feel like these are in keeping with that design philosophy albeit with the yellow to add that extra touch of wow that extra wow factor I guess but for outdoors when you're feeling more confident I think these are still quite wearable despite being very impactful and being titanium just like the first pair they are ultra comfortable I don't think I could ever live with an everyday pair of glasses that were heavy yes there is room for that in your collection if you want something that's a real statement piece something that's bold and stylish for certain occasions, but to wear all the time, every day, comfort has got to be a priority, as is durability. Thanks to them being titanium, ultra strong, ultra lightweight, just a really great all-round pair of sunglasses, just as these are an all-round great pair of everyday glasses. And I feel like between those two, they really appeal to my personality and make me feel happy when I wear them. Again, that is what glasses should do for you. And then finally, to bridge the gap between the two, I've gone for these JFRA carbon wood frames. First of all, they're a much thicker, bolder frame, so obviously they stand out more on my face. Secondly, they have this amber flash coating, which is a reflective finish, catches the light and reflects gold. Makes them look a bit more premium, in my opinion. And number three, of course, we've got this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous wood texturing, contrasting against the carbon fiber at the bottom. And a truly sumptuous frame and I would never be without a pair of JFRA glasses within my collection because I just think, well, they're my favourite brand and I just think they're amazing eyewear. Jean-Francois Ray, a French designer who creates really avant-garde, different, curious frames that really make you think, these do that for me. So this would be my more kind of adventurous pair that I would wear when I want to look a bit different. To be fair, they're more similar than they probably should be to the Modo pair that I showed you. You know, when you see them side by side, there are differences between them, but overall the aesthetic, I guess, is quite similar. So a better tip for you would be to choose something that is a bit more different so you've got more variety in your looks. Of course, I already have quite an extensive eyewear wardrobe. I have lots of different looks, and I wanted something that was different to what I already had and 
Although these are quite similar, they are giving me a totally different look to what I've had before. But the other cool feature with these is that they are photochromic. They have photofusion flash technology. So when I'm outdoors in the sun, these are going to darken to a full sunglass shade. And that means that if I don't happen to have my sunglasses on me, I'm still covered. And last week I had a trip to Scotland where I wore these, not just driving to Scotland in the sun, but wearing them on the beach, the beautiful beach there, driving back at night, and all throughout the day, I never felt like I needed to change my glasses once. So having a pair that gives you all that extra functionality is really useful. But there are advantages to having proper sunglasses as well, which I have covered in a previous video. So make sure to check that out. I'll put a link up here somewhere. So there is room for both sunglasses and photochromic glasses and clear glasses as well within the same eyewear collection. So that's all great. I mean, you've seen how enthusiastic I am about my glasses, how much I love them. That's what I want for you as well. And over the last year, our YouTube channel has been growing exponentially. And more and more, we're doing personal style consultations for people all over the world via video call or via email. So I wanted to let you guys know that that is a service that we offer. And I'll put my email in the description below. Please feel free to reach out to me. In fact, I'd love you to. And I can style you with your next pair of amazing glasses or help you build a beautiful eyewear wardrobe like I've talked about in today's video. Please make sure to subscribe. It really means a lot to me, but it will also give you the opportunity to learn about the amazing world of glasses, all of the different aspects that go into a great pair of glasses, and really give you advice for the present and for the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Size is important, but it's one of, if not the, most misunderstood aspect of frame selection. So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing three extremely cool but extremely different frame shapes to help you understand and get a clearer picture of which size is right for you. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. Today's video is all about sizing and a huge, important, crucial part of choosing the right glasses is getting the size right. But did you know that the size differs based on the shape? Well, by the end of this video, you'll understand that completely. I've got three beautiful frames from J.F. Frey, Reykjavik Eyes, and Kazal, completely different from one another. All three are gonna fit me perfectly, and I'm gonna help you understand why different frames in different sizes can still fit the same person. Let's start shall we, with Reykjavik Eyes. And you'll know if you've watched any of my videos that Reykjavik Eyes is one of my most recommended eyewear brands. Why? They're incredibly comfortable, they're incredibly durable, and they have a pretty unique aesthetic. A lot of people don't want glasses that take up all of their face. They want minimalistic eyewear that still looks cool and stylish. That's what Reykjavik Eyes gives you, more